All right, guys, where we left off yesterday was measuring crankshaft end play, end play while we were here. And what we measured was 17 thousandths, 0.43 millimeters. Desired is 0.005 thousandths, or 0.0055 inches to 0.0067, or 0.14 to 0.17 millimeters. And that is a limit of 0.3 millimeters. So we are way outside our, our limit. The shim that was in there is a 0.9 millimeter. So with all my math and trying to get my head around all this, our measured minus our desired ends up needing a 0.3 millimeter shim, which does not exist. These come in several sizes, but I believe 1.1 millimeter was the largest they make. So, I just can't get there with what's available. It, it would still put me outside with the 0.1. So, we are going to go ahead and split this case and just make sure there's no mayhem inside there. I can get I don't know, we'll just see what we have. So I'm going to strip this thing down, at least take the heads and cylinders back off, and then we'll go to disassembling the rest of the stuff for the crankcase. I'll bring you back when we have something new to see. Alright guys, we got everything stripped down, got the heads back off, cylinders off, pistons off, messed around and got this thing on the engine stand, which Typically they don't fit very well, but I think, uh, I think I can make it work here, plus it's not on the floor. I'm going to strip some of these accessories off. First we'll get this um, the generator stand and breather assembly off here. Wow, they were loose. don't really remember the last time I had any of this stuff off. Get this out off here and get it out of your way. Let's see a little more. Slotted. Back bolts are slotted. So I should. Oh, no, it's not going to. <clears throat> so, need to be more than that because there's some kind of baffle under here, if I remember right. So pull that up a little more. Back this one off a little more. Well, maybe these slots are kind of useless, and I'm going to take this whole thing off anyway. Let's see. Yeah, useless enough. Alright, there we go. Why wow, those things do not want to come out of there? So there is not a baffle in there. Maybe the VW's had that. Anyway, so there's that. Yeah, I'm going to have to make that gasket. I don't remember. So. Next we'll go after the oil cooler. It's ten millimeter nuts that hold this on. And it may or may not ooze everywhere, I don't know. So I'd 
tried to plan this and have all the right tools out. And apparently, I forgot the uh, quarter inch drive ratchet and the 10 millimeter socket. Not so much for that, right? All right, so now will take forever. That's how the oil cooler comes off. Next, we will go for the distributor. It has a clamp bolt that clamps it for timing. And then over here on the front, there's a hold down. Come on. Hold down bolt. Pretty sure I can take this nut out and the whole thing will pull out of there. And there's no, there's, there's no, it's like a VW. There's no gear on this distributor. There's just a slot that drops down into. So that's all there is to that. I'm gonna leave some oil stuff on there for now. Got the uh, front pulley come off. It's a 30 millimeter. Blast that thing off there. I don't think it was a press fit. Nope, it is not. And there's screws under there and this piece of sheet metal will come off. I'll get this. The fuel pump's too nuts. Um, I'll get some of this other stuff off and then we'll come back and we'll uh, start working on this front cover. Alright. Got the uh, stuff off the top. I think that's where we left off. Got everything off the top. I think now we'll go with the front. I'm getting oil all over the floor. Um, let's go with the front cover. Underneath this cover is the oil pump. I think. It's probably gonna make a huge mess too. Of course, they make these engine stands so the uh, you can't put a pan on them. Now maybe it'll fit. All right, it might sit there and not fall over. So let's take the nuts off the oil pump. And of course they want to get stuck in there. Up. All right. After I fought with that one nuts kind of screwed up, I tapped it. There's your oil pump. So I'm assuming at this point I'm already into a uh, whole lower gasket set. So I'll just trash all this stuff. Oil pump is driven off the cam by the slot. I guess it is different than a VW oil pump. <coughs> so same principle, but of course not the same. So. All right. Oh, it's uh, up top here is the uh, distributor drive. And they, I don't think the cover will come off. They, in the book, tell you to drive a block of wood in there, but there is the distributor drive. I'm not sure. Huh, that's a little odd. I wouldn't think that would be a factory deal with that much of the gear machined off, but hmm, I'll check into that too. So 
of this front cover and a whole bunch of these have a weird nut that holds the front engine mount on so they're kind of already out because I took the front engine mount pieces off so these think we pop all these loose of course you can't see not, the, not this is exciting but get these nuts off here So there was an estate sale across the street yesterday and today. So we're at the end of a cul-de-sac. So traffic has been absolutely berserk. Of course they were selling junk for way over price. So there's all kinds of noise and of course the dog going berserk over it too. So there's The uh, leaf blowers have toned down a little bit. There's a chainsaw going too, so I'm not sure what's going on. So, hopefully, you guys haven't heard all that. Alright, so those are the nuts. Oil pumps out. Let's see if this thing will come off. It has actually moved a little bit. Something to help it. There's a prime spot right there. Have had some success. It's oozing oil out. Of course, the pan won't stay up there. Come on. There's a gasket between here, also. So, I will work that thing off there and bring you back for the big reveal. All right, before the camera shuts off, so this washer, you know, so I kind of screwed that up. I guess I should read the book a little more. I noticed this Woodruff key was twisting. I popped it back in. So that's the front Woodruff key. There's a washer behind there, and the seal was, we were fighting all that mess. Oh, there we go. So, so I pop the seal out. Apparently jacked up his washer a little bit. I don't think this is a critical washer, it's just a washer. So, looks like there may be a new one of those in my future. front cover. It has a bunch of o-rings and such in it that we will replace when we go back together. 
Set that aside. And these little, these these are not even really O-rings. They're just little cylindrical seals that make it all work. And that is our crank and cam. So let's uh, figure out what's next. Probably start working on splitting the case. So we'll bring you back when we have when we get to our next next step. All right, guys. So figured we would uh, get this case separated tonight. I was afraid it might take dynamite to get it apart, so I worked on it a little bit off camera. I have all the bolts out, kind of separated the top half of the engine carrier, and I did get it to start to move. Now, I use what was available. So the last time this uh, engine was apart, pretty sure it was like 1986. Maybe 85. I mean, obviously, I did it myself. So, what we see inside is going to be all my fault. <clears throat> Trying to avoid using anything super sharp here on the mating surface of the case because there's no gasket. It just has essentially glue. So we're gonna lose we're gonna lose all the lifters. They're gonna fall out of this part of the case. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye on them and keep them in order. Dived, dived away. So the last one. Yeah, I lost it too. There we go. Um, so based on what I saw fall, I'm gonna fix these out here in that order. the best I can do. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me dish the gloves. So, side of this engine and that right there is our problem that thrust bearing on the end that's too much play so those are the crank journals those hat that, that's right so this is a half so the other shells and the Another half of the case. And this is a half. And that's in the other shell of the case. And this is a full, full round bearing, and it slides on from the end. And this one is in the nose, the third piece of the case. So we will um, another night. We will work on. 
pulling that out of there and seeing what kind of mayhem we have and figuring out our next course of action. One thing I did notice, and I seem to remember this, is the oil pump tube. So this, this is what the oil pump sucks oil up through from the sump. Um, I kind of remember this when I had this apart. This thing is really loose in here. So that's going to lead to crappy oil pressure. So something definitely we're going to fix. I kind of wondered about that thing for years. So now, now we'll, we'll fix that going back. I think I know what to do. And then so let's look. These are all the main bearings. Well, these two are main bearings. And then this is part of the case. Alright, so we will pull this to get apart and see uh, see what we have. Thanks for watching. Okay. So I've got the stand turned up. I'm going to start, I guess, separating the case. I'll we'll have to take the sump off first and then hold it together. Um, and this engine stand doesn't really work very well for these engines, but it's what I have. Fortunately, two by fours are really three and a half inches, so I've got that jammed in there. Um, so I'm gonna, off camera I'll start, there's perimeter bolts and then the sump, then this top half of the case should pull off. But, may not get to that today because you're uh, getting close to dinner. And we have this Boston butt that's been uh, smoking all day, so I'm gonna have pork for dinner, so. Anyway, catch y'all later.